Hi everybody, if you're new to the channel, click on like, subscribe, and this quick video is about the driving into the test center at Leighton Buzzard Driving Test Center. And it's quite a big test center. They've got heavy goods vehicles there, so you can get easily lost um, where to park, where to go. So this video is basically aimed at someone who's never been there and they've got a test coming up. Hope it helps you. If it does, give it a thumbs up. Watch out for my next video next time. Take care. Good luck on the test. So as we approach Leighton Buzzard Test Centre, it's on the left. So it's a 10 mile an hour zone once you enter and there's gonna be lots of heavy goods vehicles or light goods vehicles in there. So you get the 10 mile zone and you've got a one way system into, this, into the entrance. And you've got to watch out for the light goods vehicles or heavy goods vehicles going around them, staying close to the building on the right and taking your time. There's no rush to get around. It's quite a big car park. And remember, you're not there on your own. There's lots of people working. So you've got to be careful for people walking out. The um, heavy goods vehicles reverse, you know, going around the corner. So just take your time and give yourself plenty of time to see things. And if you're never too sure, just slow yourself down and give way and check. So we're following the, the, the building all the way around, watching out for heavy goods vehicles. And then straight ahead of you is where the driving test car park is. The distance you can see there's the a couple learner cars there but you can't go straight for that you've got to go around the painted lines because that's for heavy goods vehicles and i'll just stop it again because straight in front of you there's another bay for light goods vehicles there lgv gotta go around that but in the far distance on the right that's the exit of the car park so straight in front of your ear you've got the area where the driving tests for cars take place and you can see the blue car ahead of us They've gone to the left to reverse into their right into a bay, and that's your choice. You can do what they're doing there, which is fine. If that's what you prefer, reverse into the uh, right-hand side. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. And you can see there's quite a few bays from where the blue car is over towards the, the white car on the left. But what we're going to do is go to the left, head towards the trees, and swing it round to the right. So we've got plenty of choice, and we're going to reverse into the left into a space. So we're swinging it round to the right. We're in first gear at this point, if you wondered. There's the bays on the left, and they go right to where the blue car is. There for the learners. So we're just going to get ourselves straight. In the distance, on the, on the right, the grey building, that's where the driving test centre is. And that's the entrance to the driving test centre. I've just highlighted it because it's quite a big building. You can easily kind of miss where it is. And then we're just reversing into a space and the examiner's not going to be watching, it's too far away that we'll better see. But if it's not right in the bay, then you need to go forward and correct it. And obviously finish within the white lines. Because at the start of the driving test, you could get an examiner saying to you, I want you to drive out of the bay, to the left or to the right, and then reverse into a space doing your reverse bay park. If you've never done a reverse bay park before, or you're not very good at it, then what I will do is I'm going to put a, a link at the end of this video so you can click on the link for the video to, to practice it to watch it or i'm going to put it also in the description for you at the same time so good luck on your driving test i hope this short video has helped you 